Wait until you see this van tour. Yeah, it's on a Sprinter chassis, but this is by Gretsch. Wait until you see this cool coach. I think you're gonna like it. Today, I'm gonna show you the Turismo Ion by Gretsch RV. According to the staff here, this is the Cadillac of the RV in this camper van space. Let me show you around the exterior and then we'll jump inside. Right out of the gate, I'm seeing some things just distinguish these guys right away. Awning blended in to the roof line. Look at how beautiful that is. Illuminated, you see the LEDs coming around the front. Beefy wheels and tires, running board. Look at this beautiful polished chrome panel. Slide out step. Power door and step. We're gonna look inside in a minute. Let's close this back up. Power door on Mercedes, not all of them have it. Some love them, some hate them. It sure does work. In goes a step. Chrome exhaust. This is where fresh water fill is. Now look at how clever this is. There's a little bit of a catch. It's gonna be hard one-handed. All right, so it catches like that. And this is a fresh tank fill. What I love about this is it's gravity. Yeah, so you don't need to find pressurized water. You actually fill this through gravity, which is really awesome. And this beautiful key lock access door panel. So nice. Continuing on, more chrome. This is 110 outlet, which is pretty cool. And then you close up the panel and away it goes. Beautiful. Turismo ion. Ion indicating lithium package. We'll talk about that inside. Continuing around, integrated bumpers. Really beautiful. Backup camera, pretty standard stuff there. Chrome again, just gorgeous. Look at this panel. City water connection, pressurized water, outdoor shower, cold and hot. Cable TV, and this is your 30 amp power. Again, concealed by this beautiful panel. It's even kind of got this rubber texture on the outside. Really, really nice. Beautiful chrome, locked down here. Black and gray, again, in a concealed, locked panel. So beautiful. This is the a Timberline heater exhaust. Automotive glass, windows open. We'll show that inside. Continuing on with the chrome, running board. Pretty stealthy for a fully self-contained motorhome. What do you think so far? It's white, but it's not brilliant white. I really like this color. So far, so good. Pretty cool little vehicle. It's really stealthy from the outside. You wouldn't know that there's a fully self-contained motorhome inside, but you're probably dying to get inside. Let's go. Power door, power step. Right away looking at this, you can tell that this is something of a different caliber. The finish is beautiful, just a little bit of grain, lovely aluminum wrapped. Here is something I wouldn't expect right here, but makes sense. What is this? Yeah, a lagoon table mount, so you can actually have your table out here, or you can maybe move, move it up here for a counter extension. One town outlet, very smart. Beautiful flooring. It's kind of got this, uh, woven rug with beautiful brushed aluminum treatments. Look at that, brushed aluminum, so nice. Stepping inside, fairly typical cabin up front. There's no shelving up here, so you really have this open space, which is really nice. Pretty sure the speed, a seat spin around as they usually do. I'm not gonna bother this too much because it's on a dealer lot, but here's the lagoon table. So we saw, again, the mount right here. And there's a mount in back. I'll show you that in a second. What are we looking at here? What do you think's behind door number one? Yeah, that would be the bathroom. Let's check this bad boy out. Look at that, a window in a bathroom. Is that the coolest thing? Looks like molded fiberglass to me. Light, lighted vent, super cool. Light over the sink where it should be so you can see yourself in the mirror. Peace be with you. 
a sink that is actually functional. Toilet paper, traditional wet bath RV toilet, number one and two. And then there's your pedal. And then down here is your drain access panel. Now, because this is ring grade materials here, they've opted to put in a shower curtain, which is pretty nice, high quality, on a track, so you're not snapping anything in. Just a really nice bathroom, and it's pretty big. You can stand and shower in that. You can sit and do your business. No problemo. Did I mention it has a window and a shade? That is just, I love bathrooms with windows. Let's continue on. Looking at the galley. Cabinet, this point, all the way to this point, quite large. Clever that the galley extends over the seat, which is used primarily for foot for bed. But they managed to put a two burner induction cooktop in here. It's got a little bit of storage, which is great. More storage here, more storage here. Tippy out because this is where the sink is. Huge sink. See how big that is? Deep cover so you can use it as useful space. And this, of course, being the residential faucet with a pull out sprayer. Really, really nice. Wrapped because it's fresh from the factory. I don't want to disturb it more than we need to to get this done. Convection microwave. Very nice. And what I'm noticing is two things on the lighting. Have you noticed it? Lighting on the floor. That's pretty unusual. And lighting up above. See the blue mood lighting? Yeah, pretty spectacular. Here's a Firefly type system, meaning electronic controls. This is a lithium ion equipped coach. We'll talk about that at the end. More storage, quite voluminous. fridge would certainly pass the 12 pack beverage test and the freezer yeah, you could get a seven pound bag of ice in there but not much else and that's okay this is pretty big drawer uh, door rather nicely concealed integrated woodwork again this trim package so nice it really feels very, very quality, very different. Got a fabric, soft touch ceiling. Did I mention the cool mood lighting? Let's look up here. Cabinet. Hinges are really strong. More storage. So beautiful. And it is wrapped with this material that would make things stick and stay, not rattle. Uh, so nice. Did I mention these hinges? Look at that thing. Let's stop a train. Let's peek into the other cabinets quick. Lots of storage. Comes with a toolbox for stuff. That's cool. And one more. And there's your short power cord and some other items. Lots and lots of storage. So what do you think so far? So what I'm seeing is that this is not a van to be lived in like I do, and that's okay. What this seems to me to be is a um, customer that is used to really high quality, almost custom without the huge custom price tag for kind of a weekender or a travel to places uh, in style and comfort. And that's what I think this rig is built for. Uh, this is not for a family of a bunch of folks and a bunch of big dogs to go camping out in the woods. No, this is for the uh, connoisseur consumer that wants all the comforts at home wherever they go in a really compact RV. Let's look at the back, uh, the great room a little bit further. Looking at the great room, as I call it, this is a convertible space, lounging space and a bed. If this customer chooses to convert this into a nearly king size bed, these set of windows do open with screens. You can see that. See the lovely mood lighting under cabinet. And this is a really quality, uh, has some uh, texture to it. Television, sound bar, timberline heating system. 
Just love the track, uh, the mood lighting up here, and you get pendant lights. Well, not pendant lights, I guess just standard lights. Mounted to the ceiling. Come on, Scott. Um, back here, we have a screen that comes down, and here's seat, uh, three point seat belt one, two. So you can travel four folks in this coach and sleep two pretty comfortably. Here's a power port, great. Cup holder, cool. So this person could be sitting, enjoying a beverage, watching TV while the coach is in motion. Here's another control panel. So if you're sleeping in here, you can um, access the systems really, really easily. Again, notice the mood lighting. So beautifully done. Man, the fit and finish is just off the charts. This is a really smooth, almost suede-like material uh, with a really nice inset here. Um, the leather is probably ultra leather. And the cushion quality is really nice. Very uh, soft but firm, which is what I think people would want. Dramatic air conditioner. And the way this would work, get them out the RV lot so I don't want to disturb this more than we need to to get the convey the coolness of this rig, is that this is a power sofa, so it comes down like this and then pulls this way. So this cushion here meets this cushion there. And with a middle piece that is probably hiding away someplace, uh, would fill in this. And at very least, you have two very large twin beds. And as the person helping me with this said, uh, this comes into a near king size bed, which is pretty amazing. 2023 MSRP starting at $218,900. Let me share some of the specifications on the vehicle with you. Overall height is 10 feet 2 inches, width 6 feet 8 inches, length 19 feet. The bed fully assembled is 66 inches wide by 73 inches long. Tank capacities, fresh water 16 gallons, gray water 26 gallons, black toilet waste 13 gallons. Each of those has a 12 volt heated tank system to keep things from freezing. On the electrical side of things, there is a multiplex wiring system. The Firefly integrations into a control system has two touch panel screens. It has 200 watts of solar on the roof. And the lithium package is with a Lithionics lithium battery, which is 1260 amp hours, which is equivalent to 16,000 watts of stored energy. Pretty big battery system. Also has an integrated battery management system and there is a secondary alternator under the hood which has a wake speed regulator whatever that is um, it's 280 amp which is quite large and the system comes with a 3000 watt xantrex inverter this is pretty cool on the warranty side of the thing the gretch rv warranty is three years up to 36,000 miles of limited warranty Gretsch warranties the specific motorhome to be free from manufacturing defects in materials and craftsmanship, craftsmanship on portions manufactured by Gretsch RV under normal wear and tear. Individual components may carry their own respective warranty. The Firefly integration has a three-year unlimited miles, which is pretty cool. And then you have a pretty standard Mercedes Sprinter uh, warranty. So what do you think of this van? I really like it for what its purpose is. Again, it's not for a full-timer for sure. Probably a weekend warrior that's fairly well healed that just wants best in class. As I said, this is the Cadillac of this type of vehicle, Gretsch. It's a really cool quality coach. My first time doing one of these, and I'm really excited to get to know them better and show you more of their really amazing work. Uh, this thing does feel like it's the Cadillac of the small camper van. Looks tough, but it's pretty luxurious. So hope you enjoyed that tour. Comment below, subscribe to the channel if you like van tours. And we do a live Q&A every Wednesday on What's Up Wednesday. It would be a delight to have you join the community discussion around all things camper van. Until we see you soon, I wish you to journey on and peace be with you. See you later. to give a special shout out to our friends here at General RV in Wayland, Michigan. It's just outside of Grand Rapids for giving us access to this amazing van. They have vans in stock, ready to go. Uh, Winnebago, Tiffin, 
Ranch. It's just a really nice selection, really awesome staff. Been helping them today with some of their understanding of the Volta Lithium system. That's what brought me here, but I really want to thank them for giving me access to this van to show you how cool that van is. Um, more to come with Gretsch. I'm kind of, kind of impressed for sure. And um, check them out. We'll put all the information down below.